Hey, fab, happy Fox users. Today we're going to learn how to set up additional ca uh, categories in our Happy Fox account all using the same email address. So first, uh, in how to navigate to add a new category, you're going to click on the Manage tab and then click on your Categories sub tab and you have the option to manage your categories here. So in the last video, we learned how to set up an email integrated category using our own SMTP. Now we want to use the same email address for additional categories for other support teams, for example. So in other words, all customers are going to be using the same email address, which is this one right here. This is the one we set up in our last video with using its own SMTP authorization. So we're going to uh, in other words, customers are going to use the same email address, but Happy Fox allows you to manage which department or category that email ticket lands in. So this is going to be, this help desk category is going to become the parent of the new categories we're about to make right now, which will use the same incoming and outgoing email account information. So let's go ahead and do this. And it will make a little bit more sense if you are lost right now. So we're just going to add a new category as we did last time. We're going to make a name for this category, which, um, for example, I'm just going to use app support. And the prefix for this, which is going to show up at the beginning of my tickets, is going to be AS, short for app support. Just you can uh, select your availability, enter description, put in your signature. I'll pass all that stuff up by now. Now let's go ahead and set up our incoming and outgoing mail options. This is about as easy as it can possibly get. So on our mailbox type, we're just going to put no incoming mailbox. Why? Because we have already set that up in our parent category. This category is going to use the same information. The same thing is going to go for our outgoing options. However, in order to set up your outgoing options, we need to click on our, on our show advanced options. Just click OK in this window. And in our drop down box, since we have a parent category created already, we're going to have a new option, which is use the category help desk SMTP. That's our parent. We're going to say, yes, we want to use that. Notice our from address automatically changed to our jlcompany.helpdesk at gmail.com in this example. This will change to whatever email address you're using. And we're just going to select uh, the basic, uh, fill out the basic form here as we did last time. In this case, uh, the associate staff, will just put pull kit, is going to be the director of my app support. He'll get these tickets, set up all these other options, and we're going to save the settings. Now we have app support as a new category, and it says, under email address, no email integration. Now what that means is, don't be misled that nothing has been set up. What that means is that the email integration is going to be shared with this parent account as we've mentioned, I think I did a hundred times now. So anyways, let's run a test and see how to use our new category. Uh, I'm going to jump on to a, a test email account here and I'm going to create a new email support ticket to JL company. This is again, they both, both of our categories are using that email, this email address and I'm just going to put test um, category test. So now I'm going to send this email off. Try that again. It's going to go get sent to uh, the Gmail account that I have set up. You should see it here in a minute. And when it lands in here, we've already set our forwarding rule up as we saw in the last video. And that's going to create a ticket in our Gmail account. I'm sorry, a ticket in our Happy Fox account if Gmail will ever receive this email. And we're going to click on our tickets account. So once Gmail gets that email, it's going to forward it to Happy Fox. And look at this. We have a new ticket in our 
under our tickets tab in our JL Company Happy Fox test, test category. Now, this is where I can change the category by simply cl clicking on this um, category option here. You could change the category, and I'm going to say um, this is, again, just app support. Select my app support category here, which means it's going to get sent to our only agent that is on this category. We're going to move the ticket now. So now in my login, I no longer see that ticket. It's been moved to my associate in app support. And notice when you get a new ticket, it's going to show up in viewable to the administrator, which is me at this point. But when my app support associate starts to correspond back and forth with the customer, Happy Fox is going to take the unique ticket number and relate that to that new category. Therefore, their correspondence will no longer show up in my ticket feed. It will only be sent to the proper department. That's it. It's as simple as that. Please let us know if you like this video or if you have additional questions. Thank you for using Happy Fox.